Hi my dear student welcome to my channel today discussing the topic about uh, lounster and botany living world part 3 the main uh, the major topic classification of living world from the previous chapter we know that the planet earth is endowed with living and non living things in our daily life uh, we see several things in and around us imagine you you are on a trip to a hill station you are enjoying the beauty of mountain dazzling color of the flowers and melodious sound of the birds you may be capturing most of the things you come across in the form of photography now from this experience can you mention the objects you came across can you record your observation and tablet them how will you organize the uh, things will you place mountains and flower together or tall trees and trailing herbs in one category or place it in different category if you place it is a different category what made you to place them in different category so classification is essential and could be done only by understanding and comparing the things based on some characters In this chapter we shall learn about classification of living world many atoms have made in the past to classify the organism on earth theo versus father of botany used the morphological characters to classify the plants into tree shrubs and herbs aristotle classified animal into two groups that is anemia with red blood and anomia without red blood carolus linnaeus classified the living world into two groups namely plants and animals based on morphological characters his classification based major setback because prokaryotes and eukaryotes were grouped together similarly fungi heterotrophic organism were placed along with the photosynthetic plants in course of time the development of tools compel the taxonomist to look for different areas like cytology anatomy embryology molecular biology phylogeny etc for classify the organism on earth thus we dimension to classification were put forth from the time to time need of classification classification is essential to achieve following needs one to relate things based on common characteristic features to define organism based on the salient features helps in knowing the relationship among different group of organisms it helps in understanding the evolutionary relationship between organisms another one classification of living world a comparison of classification proposed for the classification of living world is given the number 1 two kingdom of classification carolus linnaeus in the year 1735 plantae and animalia three kingdom of classification ernest haeckel 1866 protista plantae and animalia four kingdom of classification copland 1956 monera protista plantae and animalia five kingdom of classification orgeis vitaker 1969 monera protista fungi plant and animalia six kingdom of classification thomas cavalier smith 1988 animalia fungi plants chromista protozoa archaea and bacteria seven kingdom of classification rugaria et al 2015 five kingdom of classification R. H. Whittaker, an American taxonomist, proposed five kingdom of classification in the year 1969. The kingdom includes Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. The criteria adopted for the classification includes cell structure, thallus organization, mode of nutrition, reproduction, and phylogenetic relationship. A comparative account of uh, the five kingdom may, may be given below. the five kingdom of classification number 1 uh, monera the organisms like uh, archaebacteria 
யூபாக்டீரியம் சைனோபாக்டீரியம் ஆக்டினோமைசிட்ஸ் அண்ட் மைக்கோப்ளாஸ்மா செகண்ட் ஒன்று ப்ரொட்டிஸ்டா ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் லைக் கிரைசோஃபைட்ஸ் டினோஃப்ளாஜலேட்ஸ் யூக்ளினாய்ட்ஸ் ஸ்லைம் மோல்ட்ஸ் அமீபா பிளாஸ்மோடியம் ட்ரிப்னசோமா பேராமீசியம் அனதர் ஒன் ஃபங்கை த ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் லைக் ஈஸ்ட் மஷ்ரூம் அண்ட் மோல்ட் அனதர் ஒன் பிளான்டே இன்க்ளூட் ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் லைக் ஆல்கே ப்ரையோஃபைட்ஸ் டெட்ரோஃபைட்ஸ் ஜிம்னோஸ்பேம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆன்ஜியோஸ்பேம்ஸ் அனதர் ஒன் அனிமாலியா லைக் ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் ஸ்பாஞ்சஸ் இன்வெட்டிப்ரேட்ஸ் அண்ட் வெட்டிப்ரேட்ஸ் Comparison of ஃபைவ் Kingdom Cell type Monera is an Prokaryot Protista is an Eukaryot Fungi is an Eukaryot Plant is an Eukaryot Animal is an Eukaryot Level of Ornization Monera is an Unicellular Protista is an Unicellular Fungi is an Multicellular and Unicellular Plant is an Tissue or Organ அனிமலியா டிஷ்யூ ஆர்கன் அண்ட் ஆர்கன் சிஸ்டம் செல்வால் மொனிரா இஸ் அண்ட் மொனிரா செல்வால் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் மேடப் ஆஃப் பெப்டிடோக்ளைக்கன் அண்ட் மியூகோ பெப்டைட்ஸ் பொட்டிஸ்டா செல்வால் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் சம் மேடப் ஆஃப் செல்லுலோஸ் ஆப்சன்ட் இன் அதர்ஸ் ஃபங்கை செல்வால் இஸ் செல்வால் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் மேடப் ஆஃப் கைட்டின் ஆர் செல்லுலோஸ் பிளான்டே செல்வால் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் மேடப் ஆஃப் செல்லுலோஸ் அனிமலியா செல்வால் இஸ் ஆப்சன்ட் நியூட்ரிஷன் மொனிரா நியூட்ரிஷன் ஆட்டோட்ராபிக் இங்க்ளூடு போட்டோட்ராபிக் கீமோ ஆட்டோட்ராபிக் ஹெட்ரோட்ராபிக் பேராசைட்டிக் அண்ட் சாப்ரோபைட்டிக் ப்ரொட்டிஸ்டா நியூட்ரிஷன் ஆட்டோட்ராபிக் ஃபோட்டோஸ்னட்டிக் ஹெட்ரோட்ராபிக் ஃபங்கை நியூட்ரிஷன் ஹெட்ரோட்ராபிக் பேராசைட்டிக் ஆர் சாப்ரோபைட்டிக் பிளான்டே நியூட்ரிஷன் ஆட்டோட்ராபிக் ஒன்லி ஃபோட்டோஸ்னட்டிக் அனிமலியா நியூட்ரிஷன் ஹெட்ரோட்ராபிக் that may be colozoic motility monera motility motile or non motile protista motile or non motile fungi non motile plant a mostly non motile animalia mostly motile merits of five kingdom classification the classification is based on the complexity of cell structure and organization of thallus it is based on the mode of nutrition separation of fungi from plants it is show the phylogeny of the organisms demerits of the five kingdom of classification the kingdom monera and protista accommodate both autotrophic and heterotrophic organisms cell wall lacking and cell wall bearing organism thus making these two groups more heterogeneous viruses were not included in the system do you know red tide is caused by toxic bloom of dinoflagellates like gymnodium brevi and coniolax tamarensis a major red tide incident in west coast of florida in the year 1982 killed hundreds and thousands of fishes and an activity visit to a pond and record the names of the biotic components of the with the help of your teacher tablet the data and segregate them according to five kingdom of classification evaluation question number 1 das is considered to be a new kingdom option a protista option b chromista option c monera option d plantae so the correct answer option b chromista Question number 2 the classification published in recent time was given by option A Carl Ossi option B Rogario et al option C Whitaker option D Copeland so the correct answer option B Rogario et al Question number 3 assertion major red tide incident in Florida in the year 1982 
killed hundreds and thousands of fishes. Recent retired is caused by toxic bloom of dinoflagellates like gymnodium brevi and coniolux tamarensis. Option A, A is correct and R explains A. Option B, A is correct, R is wrong. Option C, both A and R is uh, R are wrong. Option D, A is wrong, R is correct. So the correct answer, option A, A is correct, assertion is correct. Or uh, reason explains A. Question number 4, 5 kingdom system of classification suggested by R. H. Whittaker is not based on. Option A, presence or absence of well-defined nucleus. Option B, mode of reproduction. Option C, complexity of body organization. Option D, mode of nutrition. So the correct answer, option A, presence or absence of cell wall defined nucleus. Question number 5, Grisophytes, euglenoids, dinoflagellates and slime molds are included in the kingdom. Option A, animalia. Option B, monira. Option C, protista. Option D, fungi. So the correct answer, option B, monira. Question number 6. Mention the kingdoms included in Whittaker classification. Question number 7. What is the need for classification? Question number 8. What is the red tide? Question number 9. Name the divisions of seven kingdom classification. Question number 10. Tablet the comparison of kingdoms in the five kingdom classification based on the criteria used. Question number 11. Briefly discuss on five kingdom of classification. Add a note on merits and demerits.